Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to explain how to make uh, an array for an object but this time not a linear or radial uh, this time I'm gonna show you how to array that object along that specific path and as you may know if you go to select the object and you go to the array command you will be seeing two options which is linear which is you go in X or you go in Y and another option which is radial or polar so technically there is no option uh, that actually help us to distribute this based on an equal distances for the path itself now how we can do that we can use dynamo and it's very easy again so let's go a uh, level one and I'll keep that aside and I'll activate dynamo actually I opened it before so again we're gonna go and uh, select the uh, model element and usually here E so this guy here so this node allow you to select the object and in my case I'm gonna select the path so you know I'm gonna divide it so that's why I'm selecting it rather than selecting the object first and as you can see it's been load uh, dynamo rivet and uh, sorry dynamo actually load from rivet the path and if you don't see it you can just select this guy and zoom in and zoom out until you see it anyway back to this uh, node system so that's the object now has been selected now I need to uh, make a curve of that so curve, curve element and that's to allow you to obtain the geometry curve from the geometry or from the selection so here yeah. so now I can just divide that curve which is again just hit divide and then curve that's all lots of method I'm gonna have this which is point at equal segments sound lovely and then I'm gonna connect those together and see immediately both in dynamo and in rivet the path has been divided by a default value so if you hover about that you're gonna find it 10 and of course you're not gonna like that so we need a slider here again integer one so we don't have fraction so just make sure it's not one let's make it the minimum of two maximum maybe 20 and each click or each slide here will be one so connect it and now we can control the amount of division here that we have as you can see that's been done uh, now we need to create a family on each point so and also we need to select the family so I'm gonna go family types here that's first so what type of family we have and I think the name was table parametric table or such a thing so I'm gonna go down down if my memory is still alive here, here right parametric table so now this guy has been selected because you know uh, and prepare for me to be put in the second node so the second node should be based uh, family at point because I need to create a family instance actually based on each point of that so uh, I think this one yep so again family instance by point so he gonna make our actual rivet will uh, with the dynamo gonna place an instance of that family on each point of that so what we need we need of course uh, the family itself and the points and yeah I think it's uh, self explained so just that that's the point and that's the family and as you can see here it's done and that's all that's my function very easy and very simple uh, it's uh, allowed me to distribute based on that so if I minimize that and go to the 3D, it's, uh, distribute that on or along that path. I wish that you find that uh, tutorial useful. Thank you very much and have a good day.